Brit mums. My name's Sophie Grigson and I hope that you'll come and watch my Christmas kitchen on UK TV Food from the 28th of November for four days at 7pm. Oh, I, I love all those Christmas traditions. I mean, all the ones to do with food, I think, are, are so fascinating. I do always make my own Christmas puddings and I would make them either late September or early October every other year that's the key thing so we um so they mature properly i always make two at a time one for this coming year one for the year afterwards that's the really good one all these traditional british suet puddings whether they be christmas pudding or so like a sussex pond pudding or any other kind of steam pudding suet roly poly that's very good as well they all they're all fine made with packages suet but it doesn't have the flavour that the real McCoy has, real suet that you buy from a butcher. Now, if you want to get suet, real suet from a butcher, you want to check out your local butcher in advance because they may not have it just to hand. Secondly, do not believe a butcher who tells you it's illegal. It's not. And I've had been told that several times. It's that's laziness on the part of the butcher. Suet is actually the fat around the kidney of, um, uh, of an animal and uh, a, a cow uh, or veal um, and it's it just has the best flavour. Christmas pudding is, is, is really a very forgiving uh, thing. Once it's made, it's made and as long as you keep it uh, in a cool place. I actually keep mine in the garage funnily enough, um, relatively cool uh, and dry and um, don't open the lid. That actually is one really, really important um, tip. Don't peel off the paper or open the lid because when you do your initial steaming uh, for however many hours, about seven hours I do, that kills off every known germ, bacteria, nasty thing you know, that you can imagine and that's so inside your pudding basin and the paper or the silver foil or the lid over the top whatever you're using inside that it's all hermetically pure and you know, virgin territory without any microbes in it so you really don't want to start taking it off even if the paper looks a bit scuncy don't worry just leave it and leave it on and that way your pudding will be fine you can replace the paper um, just before steaming uh, on Christmas Day but don't do it before then. And then, you know, just steam it, steam it properly. When it's first made, steam it for seven hours, give it plenty of time. And then when you're reheating it for the actual meal on Christmas day, and this goes actually, even if you've, it's a bought Christmas pudding, never believe anybody who says, oh, you can do it in the microwave, it's fine, it's just the same. It isn't the same, you can do it in the microwave, and it takes minutes but it's not the same. If you want it to taste great, and if you've put all that effort into a meal, you should just make that final little push. You need to steam it for one to two hours whilst everything else is cooking. Hot kitchen, I know, but worth it. Brit Mums.